Pisces, how are you doing? Welcome to the Sacred Sage. This is your weekly tarot reading for the week of 29th October to uh, 4th of November. This is a general reading, so don't forget to check your sun sign, moon sign and rising sign. Now, 4th of November, that week, we are doing special readings for peace and prosperity, so do not forget to check out those readings. Okay, and also, I want to tell you, it's going to be an emotionally heavy week, because what do you love planet? Planet of love, planet of romance, planet of uh, all the luxuries and good things. Venus is about to vanish from the night sky and that's not great news. But the good part is that it only happens for 24 to 48 hours. So don't worry. The difficult part will go away in a day or two. You're likely to be slightly vulnerable irrespective of you being a fire sign, air sign or earth sign. It, it kind of will affect everyone in different ways obviously depending on your sign. But yeah, if you feel slightly emotional, don't be reactive. Take some time off for yourself. Let the emotions come in. Accept it and heal. There are many healing videos that we have on our channel, so you could try those out too. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started with your reading. Okay. You're walking away from something and something nice will happen to you. Oh, okay. Let me move this here so that you can see all your cards. <clears throat> okay, so I think you've been holding on to your possessions very tightly. You've been, you've just been very possessive. I would say being very insecure about a few things in life. Material as it look, looks like but yeah overall insecurities are governing your life right now and because of these insecurities you're also in a state of battling with others you're you're having your struggles where everything that's happening and i'm not saying others are not doing anything i'm sure there are people around or there are situations where you feel that uh, everybody's coming to attack you i'm just trying to tell you that a lot about this is also getting instigated because of your own insecurities Eventually, as the week progresses, I see you walking away from a lot of these situations. Right? You're leaving back and especially relationships or equations where you're feeling this whole stress and struggle and you think they are out there to attack you and hurt you. Uh, you're walking away from all of this and the tower here right at the center, right? The center energy of the reading is the tower, so which means all of these situations are coming crashing down it's all blowing apart right and when it blows apart it always brings something new which means till the time the old doesn't go the new doesn't come so the tower means that the old energies are about to break away yeah again i see someone who is elder to you a male figure who will be responsible for some kind of uh, opportunity with respect to money. It could mean that your father is very happy with you and he comes down to give someone something or somebody uh, like your boss, like your elder brother could be someone that you really respect and regard. Someone who is in a position of authority comes to grace you with something nice. Um, there's also the Queen of Cups. So I think the moment you are sorted from the whole tower energy, when you accept that all that was not supposed to be a part of life, everything that was not serving you is now gone and clear, there's a Queen of Cups energy. So she stands for nurturing. She, she's more loving. Yeah. And yes, she also has a lot of wealth. So, so yeah, you're going to be in a better place after this this happens so all that the cards are trying to tell you is that you have to walk away from people or situations that have been holding you back and the moment you do that you have the blessings so the queen and the king together means if we had to do a love reading i would say 
that you are getting away from a few toxic situations or relationships that are not serving you so that you can be in a space where you have more compatibility uh, people in your life will accept you your partner will accept you and your energies will match there will be a balance between the energies right they're there together so there's a lot of love so if it was about your romantic relationship after you go through the tower which is going to hurt so don't say ouch it will hurt but eventually yeah compatibility comes in which is good stability comes in which is also good and then i see you working hard i think there is a shift of focus so you will you started off with money you started off with insecurities and then at the end of the reading, I see you working really hard and putting in all the effort to make something and build something. You're focused on your money and your finances. So one, two, three, uh, sorry, one, two, three cards for money. Yeah? So if you're working away from a job, then I see you setting up something or you working towards a new job offer or probably starting your own business. Something nice is happening. A lot of efforts, a lot of focus, uh, a lot of hard work. And, and you're willing to put in that, which is good, right? You're willing to make this work. Yeah. So overall, I wouldn't say that it's a bad week. Yes, we have the tower. Yes, we see you moving away. But we also see you working hard towards something nice that you want to make. Money that you want to save for yourself. So it's going to be a balanced week for you. Good and the bad together. Take care of yourself and have, and have a great, great week ahead.